Solve the problem. A ball is projected upward from ground level. After t seconds, its height and feet is a function defined by f of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 96t. After how many seconds will it reach a height of 128 feet? So we have our function representing the height of this projected ball. The question is, after how many seconds is that height going to be at 128 feet? So we're going to substitute 128 in for f of t, the height. So 128 is equal to negative 16t squared plus 96t. And now we're going to solve this equation. We have a quadratic equation. Let's put it in standard form. I'm going to do that by moving everything to the left. So adding 16t squared to both sides gives 16t squared on the left. We'll subtract that 96t from both sides. So minus 96t on the left and plus our 128 is equal to 0. Now notice that each of our terms has a common factor of 16. So I'm going to divide both sides by 16 every term. 16t squared divided by 16 is t squared. That minus 96t divided by 16 is a minus 6t. And 128 divided by 16 is 8. So we've cleaned that up a bit. Now let's factor it. If it factors, it will factor as the product of two binomials. Leading terms must be t and t to give t squared. Factors of a positive a that sum to a negative 6, they have to both be negative. They are a minus 4 and a minus 2. Now to use our zero factor property, if we have the product of two things equal to zero, then one or the other or both are zero. So t minus 4 is zero or t minus 2 is 0, giving t equal 4, or t is equal to 2. Checking both of these in our original equation gives a true statement. So let's summarize that answer and say, well, at 2, this is time in seconds, so at 2 seconds, um, the ball is traveling upward, and it goes through that height of 128 feet. Then it begins to fall and falls through that height of 128 feet at 4 seconds. So our answer, 2 seconds and 4 seconds.